The officer responsible for Hawaii's false ballistic missile warning has been reassigned. The alert sent the state into panic on Saturday. 2 News' Kelly King is live in the newsroom with reaction on this developing story. Lauren, residents and tourists remain rattled after the mistaken alert was blasted out to cell phones across the island with a warning to seek immediate shelter. For nearly 40 minutes on Saturday, Hawaii thought it was under a ballistic missile attack and people did everything they could to try to get to safety. It was then followed by a clarification that there was no threat. State officials blamed it on an employee who pushed the wrong button. The FCC says Hawaii didn't have safeguards in place that could have prevented this false alarm. There were people crying. You could see people were really frightened. I sent a message to my grandkids at home, and it just it made me realize, my God, I could have never seen them again. Immediately notified the hotel that I wanted to check out and head to the airport because I didn't want to stick around to see if this place is going to get blown up or not. Hawaii authorities say they've added increased security to their alert system and are reviewing the incident. State officials say they're suspending tests until an investigation is complete. Kelly King, 2 News Today, working for you.